What is going on guys? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. We've had a lot of hands-on coverage recently in regards to the new Poco F2 Pro, that iPhone SE 2020 variant, the new TLC 10 Pro, and most recently that LG Velvet. Now, one thing I really want to talk to you guys about quickly is the cameras on this. So, fun fact, this video you're watching is being shot 100% on the LG Velvet. The B-roll obviously is shot with a different camera, but this is what you can expect from the 4K video capture. For those of you familiar with this device, it does have that triple camera arrangement on the back, and you are going to get that main 48 megapixel camera, that 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, and that 5 megapixel depth photo camera. So on paper, nothing to blow you away, but it does sound really good if they were implemented correctly. So. We know the processor is a 765G. It is not a Snapdragon 865, 855 even. So how does that correlate to image processing and all that? Let's take a look at some of these samples. And right away, what you can see is actually how good the quality is. Uh, the one downfall is night photography. The darks still just can't be brought to light or it overexposes itself trying to ultra, you know, over smooth these pictures. So not taking night shots into consideration. I think the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the new Google Pixel 4 and the 5 that'll come out this year is obviously going to take the cake. They're going to keep these, um, the, these other manufacturers at bay. But in regards to the photo samples, they look awesome. They're crisp. You can see some in good daylight here. You can see some in just kind of it's cloudy conditions, but it looks really good. Aside from that, you are going to be able to do these 4K 30 video recording as a Max. You have a gyro EIS system, so you don't have OIS, you do have EIS, and you do have 128 gigs of storage on here. So keep that in mind, at least it's not giving you 64 gigs of storage. You have a good amount of storage to work with if you're huge into photography and all that. The the stereos also, the stereo speakers actually also sound really good on this. So if you're recording a video or playing a video back, uh, keep that in mind. Your parties around you will be able to hear it. LG has always been good in the audio game, and this is no exception really. The selfie camera has a 16 megapixel f1.9 lens that does have HDR, but it can only record up to a max resolution of 1080p at 30 frames per second. So not the best on the front end. However, 1080p nowadays does still look good, but you're having other manufacturers throw in 4K uh, for front-facing cameras and obviously 8K uh, in relation to Samsung's S20 Ultra and the Poco F2 Pro uh, can really, really blow that out of the water with their 8K resolution. Is it usable now? No. Should you buy a phone for 8K? Definitely not, but it's a nice little party trick if you happen to know somebody with an 8K display. So aside from that, there's not much else I want to show you guys in this camera sample. I really want your opinion. How do you think this video looks? Is it focusing okay? I obviously can't see it on this, on this side, but let me know what you think. Are you a fan of the LG Velvet? I know they're going to bring in some more markets if you missed the unboxing video. It's going to be coming to the U.S. and I believe Canada. I'm not sure of the other markets yet. LG hasn't clarified that or given us a release date. So right now all you can get is the Korean variant and import it if that is what you would like to do. Make sure to thumbs up this video, guys. It really helps us. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Are you interested in these? Are you going to pick up an LG Velvet and what color? Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.